fundamentally unity in diversity, which is such a strong principle in Baha'i teachings, means that we're all alike and all different. One feels one's human kinship with people. At least one should feel it. If one doesn't feel it, then there's something the matter with you, that you don't feel it, because it is there. But it presupposes not having the concept that those people are different from you, far from you, alien from you. You have to think that those people are human beings just like me. One has to have this sense that these people, that other person is loved by Baha'u'llah, as I hope that Baha'u'llah loves me, that we all belong to God, that his love is a portion to all men, irrespective of race, irrespective of education, irrespective of advantages or disadvantages. He died. Can you explain it to him? This is my husband who is dead. Sí, Sí, Esto oración, oración. You don't necessarily have to speak a person's language to have a bond of understanding. That can be something that you feel between each other and I have felt it many times with people with whom I couldn't say one single word. On the way back to our boat, we went to visit the Tenkwa waterfalls. We don't let the Baha'is know the needs of these people. If they don't see the faces of these wonderful people, their simplicity, that they are between two worlds. They're no longer in the old world of their tribe, which was a good existence, and they had the dignity and the nobility of their custom, and they're no lo not in our world because nobody loves them and nobody really cares for them and nobody respects them. These are the kinds of people all over the world that we have to teach the cause of God to. These wonderful people that are out in the jungles and the savannas and the deserts of the world, we have to go and teach them. And it's very, very difficult for people to understand them if they don't see them. The, the beauty of their face, their politeness to us, their patience, their kindness was very wonderful experience to me to be with these people of all the tribes people that we have met on this trip these were the ones that i liked the best because so far these are the least touched by western civilization shogi fendi said we have a cancerous materialism eats eats away the very flesh from the bones of the spirits of men and we are being devoured by it in our civilization these people when they are touched by it, it destroys them. Then how can the Baha'is ignore the fact that these are the ones that we have to teach? This is the next, to me, the next great step in the progress of the religion of God is to teach these people. It's of supreme importance. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,